Hello and welcome to my channel. This is season three, episode 58. Before I start this video, I want to thank those that subscribe to my channel and thank you to those of you that have been following and supporting me. Now, I have no notifications. Let's get straight into this video. If you haven't seen my last video, go check that out. So what's interesting about this last video is I'm gonna go over a bunch of things to finish off for 2022. So if you haven't seen my video, Humble Gamble, check that out. So I'm gonna name and shame bad players. Now, this happens when I come across you on the day, whether I'm using my head cam, scope cam, both, or whatever my mood is. Now, in order to get on this show, game show, if you wanna call it that, you have to be a pretty bad player. Now, if there's more players, that's not a good sign. I'm not one of those players that wants to go and look for toxic players or bad players. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, that's a good sign. Just to leave it being airsoft. Because there are a lot of um, compilation videos of bad airsoft players. And some of them may be bad players or some of them may be new players that are not used to it. Again, a mixed um, result there. But nevertheless, let's go through the three players of 2022. Now, in third place, bronze place, goes to a recurring bad player, Mr. Blobby. Yes, I encountered him again with my Lee Enfield. I shot him centre mass, then he turned around to try and shoot me. I went straight to the marshal, and he kept an eye on him. I didn't see him for the rest of the day, but thankfully that was dealt with. Um, just simply call your hits, okay? He didn't have a plate carrier, chest harness, chest rig, or anything on him, so I saw the rippling effect. Just be honest, okay? Don't cheat. In second place, silver place goes to Papa Smurf because he was wearing a top that was bright blue like a Smurf. Now, multiple times, not hit by me, but by other teammates, um, hit taking was a very big issue with this guy, maybe because it was offering a bit more protection. Um, I believe he was a father there with his son or family. Um, he'd get hit. Sometimes he'd put his hand up and then walk 10, 12 steps and then come back into the game. And that's not how you respawn. Multiple hits, like I mentioned, and with me particularly, I was a gentleman up to a certain point. So I'd shoot him in the chest, the easiest part. I'd shoot him again in the chest multiple times. Then after a while, I was like, right, I'm gonna aim for your head now. And the only two times, in my own personal opinion, you may agree with this, you may disagree, the only two times that I go for the head is when it's the only thing showing, which marshals do mention, and, well, if you're a bad player and you've got some exposed flesh, you're going to feel it. So make sure you pull your hits. And, yeah, there were a few times where I had to go for the head in order to get him to actually go out. I did speak to the marshals. They kept his, they kept an eye out on him, spoke to him. Um, I do believe he might have had to sit out or stay out of the game. But he did manage to last the day. He was very fortunate. Um, but, again, simply just call your hits. And in first place, gold place goes to... Red hands, and you're probably thinking, well, that's very unimaginative. unimaginative. Well, he got caught red-handed, not just by me, but by other players and marshals. Um, he was a rental, an adolescent youth. Um, again, I knew the site in and out, pretty much, and got the jump on him every time. Um, his friends were good. They actually called their hits and walked out. But this guy was a bit questionable, sometimes saying, I got you, and I'm like, I've got my camera, and it shows that I got you first before you even shot me. And he went into an area he wasn't supposed to, so I waited for that player to come out. Turns out it was him. I ambushed him, double tapped him, and then he shot me, claiming that I got him as well. And I'm like, the only time you trade, in my head, by the way, the only time you trade is when you both pretty much get each other at the same time. You were shot and then shot me afterwards. Then he just did a hand gesture, because I said on camera, he shot me multiple times in the chest, and it didn't hurt for two reasons. Number one, I had my chest rig on. And I'm thinking, why would you do that? So I went straight into the building, spoke to the marshal, and this is the first time this has ever happened. I had to get my camera off and show the footage. Again, that took a few minutes, obviously, because I've never done that before. He saw the footage, and being a good marshal, he sorted it out straight away. He went over to the player. Now, I don't know if he had to sit out for a couple of minutes the entire game. He managed somehow to stay there for the rest of the day. But again, just simply 
learn from this experience. Play by the rules, okay? It's not a hard thing to do in airsoft. It's a hobby, we play for fun, we don't take this too seriously. If you do, then why? Is more always my question. And yeah, I like to help out rentals. I don't like to spoil other people's fun. Again, that's why we're there on the day. But when you don't play by the rules, don't expect to have any special treatment or do expect a certain special treatment, but not the good type of treatment, if you understand what I'm saying. And yeah, that's pretty much it, wrapping up Humble Gamble. So let's get rid of the negative, let's move on to the positive. So I managed to get more videos this year compared to the last couple of years, which hasn't been easy. Um, my Riff collection is almost complete. My BDU collection is almost complete. My gear, well, varies. Uh, again, um, there's not a lot of things that I want to get. Um, depending on the mood, I suppose, really. I try to use my riffs, my BDUs, trying to be different, unique for my channel, and hopefully you enjoy that when you watch this. I'm trying not to go on for too long here. Uh, what else can I mention? I do like to use my props. Again, something that's a bit underrated in Airsoft when it presents the opportunity. Um, I tend to use my props when I can. Sometimes it's just easier to shoot than using a prop, but again, certain situations will permit you, or just luck, or both, uh, but nonetheless, enjoy my videos, what I'll do is I'll make it into a playlist for this year, um, I've got some plans, some ideas, some projects, so airsoft ideas for 2023, as well as a few secret projects, which um, they're not bad, but I want to try and use what I've got in my airsoft arsenal, and work on a few other projects expanding, possibly outside of airsoft, maybe um but nevertheless i want to thank honey badger for this christmas gift a paratrooper backpack pretty cool it is going to be in one of my projects now you're probably wondering why have i got two riffs next to me well quite simple now when i play i play for fun i've mentioned this all the time try and be honest as best as i can and get the best footage that i can for fun um i like to set myself challenges and sometimes i beat records not intentionally but sometimes set records then i go you know what, is it possible to break that? And sometimes it may take a month, a couple of months, maybe the entire year. Or you can literally go back to the site next week or whenever you go and then go, oh, well, I beat that record faster than I expected. So challenges, goals, they help you get better in life. In general, let's put it that way. So that's what I try to do with my airsoft videos and projects is I try to be different, but I like to see a different result now, some results may be better than others, some may not be as good, and then there are those that just work for you. But nevertheless, let's get back onto topic, the two riffs. Now, I'm going to put a picture up here, whilst I grab this one here. This is my ENL AKS-74U. I use this for my Christmas game, so my highest hip ratio indoors is at Z-Mark, not Z-Mark, not American, but Z-Mark Adventures to be precise. This got me 110 hits on one game day. That's the Christmas special. And I've pretty much gone through a lot of customization options with this. But I definitely like this particular look at the moment. It might change again in the future if I want to be different. You never know. But there's a particular reason behind this design. And this will be in an upcoming video at some point in 2023. Because well, I like it. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to put that back. Stay. Now, the other riff over here, I'll put a picture up. This is my SEMA AK74M. It has a different designation, again, because it has a lot of numbers and then a letter at the end. Uh, but nevertheless, I bought this. Um, the extended mag, my little custom work Picatinny rail attachment. What's interesting about this attachment, it's meant for a shotgun um, design, but it didn't. It only fits a few of my ribs, and I thought, you know what? Best thing to do, zip tie it on, so I could put my scope cam on and everything. Now, on the particular day that I used this, this was outdoors, I managed to get 103 confirmed hits with this configuration. And honestly, for both records, I'm gonna put this back, So for both records, okay, 
above 100, that was not my intentional goal. But like I said, sometimes challenges, goals, you just surpass your expectations in a good way. Um, but no. So these two hold the current records at the moment. And we'll see what will happen in 2023. Fingers crossed. Um, I want to get some more footage. Try, like I said, some different projects, some riffs to show. Um, I want to try and get some more maybe battle sims possibly. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, the battle sims for Red Alert will continue as well as maybe some new ones. I will also consider maybe, and uh, fingers crossed, hopefully the um, mill sim that I went to, the Tarkov one, will continue this year. And maybe look at a few others that are not too over the top, um, but nice like simple mill sims like the one that I've been to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a shame I couldn't get to use all my props this year. But what's going to happen now is I'm going to show you a montage to finish off with. Um, so enjoy it. I'll put it up on Instagram. And all I'm going to say is enjoy. Happy New Year. It's okay. I'll show them. We will show them all. Мы из поколения мужчин, выращенных женщинами. Поможет ли другая женщина в решении наших проблем?